Within the redemption, the worship of false idols is a grievous heresy, and the word keepers are swift to punish those who see the divine in unsanctioned places. This, of course, does not stop members of Clan Cordor from making effigies to the god emperor from Hive Detritus, or building shrines beneath particularly auspicious looking gunk. Then there are men such as Rattus Tataskin, who hear the emperor's voice in the incessant squeaking of his rats. Tataskin claims to have spoken with the spirit of the emperor, who he says inhabits the body of a gigantic rat deep in the depths of the Underhive. The emperor sent some of his servants to Tataskin so that the Cordor scum might understand his divine will. As it turns out, the divine will of the Rat Emperor is that the Hive be purged of the enemies of the Redemption, something Tataskin has taken to with great vigour. Hello and welcome back to Wellywood Wargaming. My name is Damon and this is the huge series where I give you bite-sized videos on every single Dramatis Personae and Hired Gun in the game of Necromunda to date. Please do like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon as well to keep me going on this huge endeavour and comment down below if you've used any of these characters in your games as well just to give me a bit more insight on it. Some of them I've played, some of them I haven't. Of course, I haven't got all the time in the world to get through these guys, and I certainly don't own all the miniatures as well. Rattus Tataskin here, though. Really interesting one. Uh, awesome bit of lore there, um, seeing the emperor in a giant rat and talking to his little ratties and stuff. Let's have a look at the model first, actually, from Forge World. I really like this one. Uh, reminiscent of the Hunchback of Notre Dame, of course, with rats all over him. Huge heavy stubber and just an awesome looking addition to your sort of Cordor gangs. Of course, you could just use this Forge World miniature in your Cordor gangs as a champion. That would be a pretty cool thing to do. Um, but otherwise, you could certainly use him as a bounty hunter in the Goonhammer system or even as an outcast leader if you really want to be that much of a crazy mofo. Um, let's have a look at the actual stats in the game, though. He's 90 credits, which is actually super affordable for what he's got and what he does. Uh, 90 credits is great, really nice and cheap here. Um, and the stats are as follows. We have a movement of 5+, plus, weapon skill, ballistic skill 4+, plus, strength and toughness 3. Only one wound, though, which is a bit of a letdown, but for that price, it's not too bad. Uh, initiative of 4 up, 1 attack, 8+, plus leadership, 5+, plus cool, which is lovely. Uh, willpower of a 6+, plus, and intelligence of an 8+. plus. So he's... He's a, his normal stat line is the same as a Hive Scummer, just with slightly better cool and willpower. Otherwise, he's basically a Hive Scum. Um, in terms of his skills, though, he comes with the Fearsome skill, which is nice because it means that you know people have to take a willpower check to fight you in close combat. And he comes with a Heavy Stubber, which is fantastic. No other weapons, just a Heavy Stubber and Flak Armor. The Heavy Stubber is definitely one of the better heavy weapons in the game. Of course, this guy can't move and shoot with it because he hasn't got a suspenser, but you don't really need to. Uh, average ballistic skill as well, but for 90 credits, it's not bad having a Heavy Stubber on this guy. Um, however, there are some caveats to that. The, the first special rule that we've got here, though, is that he's got a special rule called My Little Friends. Enemies ending an activation in base-to-base -base suffer D6 Strength 1 hits. And when activated, this guy has to pass a willpower test or gain insanity for the rest of the turn. He automatically loses the insanity marker at the, at the start of the next turn, though. But um, that's pretty, it's pretty, pretty horrific if you do roll that uh, that ro that one. Uh, sorry, that if you fail that willpower test, his willpower is pretty good. It's at six up, so you, you're most often passing it. But if you do fail that willpower test and go insane, and then roll uh, the one in three chance to turn around with your heavy stubber and shoot your cordial leader or whatever, it could be pretty nasty. But that's part of the fun in this guy. It's a bit of a gamble, which is partly why I love him. Uh, he also generates articles of faith with the Path of the Doomed. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. You can add him to your gangs and he'll generate those articles too, just as the rest of your cordial and redemptionists will. And we also have a special rule called Questionable Morales. Questionable, questionable morals can be hired regardless of alignment, whether you're law-abiding or outlaw, which is pretty cool because by default you look at this guy and you think he's an outlaw, but not necessarily. He works for law-abiding gangs as well. The rules for uh, this fellow are in the House of Faith, which is, I think, one of the best books in the whole range so far, but then I'm biased because I love Cordor. Um, but for 90 credits with a heavy stubber, heavy stubber it's pretty good, obviously. Um, you don't want to fail those willpower checks and, and gain an insanity marker, but it's not the end of the world, you know. Um, he's still got to hit you, I suppose, with that ballistic skill of 4+. plus. But 
I really like this guy. I think he's really, really interesting. The combination of fearsome and the automatic sort of strength, uh, D6 strength one hits when you base base him up is, is pretty cool as well. Um, and just a lovely, lovely model to add to your Necromunda range as well. Um, let me know if you've used this guy because I haven't actually used uh, the guy because I don't have the model yet for Rattus Tata Skin, but I would like to get one at some point. I just don't have all the money in the world to be able to, for, to, to afford all those Forge World prices, unfortunately. But I'd be really interested to know uh, how you find... Uh, Rattus Tata skin in your games of Necromunda um, because he looks on paper he looks like a really fun one to use I have to say and a, and a welcome addition to the uh, Cordor and uh, general sort of uh, scum bounty hunters and hired guns in the game anyway that's it for me for now I'll catch you in the next video peace out